Okay, we're back. And I am enjoying me some of this good old Armageddon War. This is a good game. And this is getting it's starting to get interesting now, so um there it is, the ISIS player's turn. He's got some units ready to move. And I'm debating. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I was debating whether I wanted to move these guys at all. But I think the key thing here with all these uh, ISIS forces here, in this little triangle, is going to be to get rid of this guy right here. We're going to hold off on him for a second. They'll get there. It depends on the draw. But I want to I want to get rid of him. I mean, that's where I can put most of my pressure right now. So I'm going to go ahead and fire with both units because both units are in range. And a DSHK has already been set up. It hasn't moved. So I'm going to fire with four. Dice. Okay. It's not a combined fire. Because it's not diff two different formations firing. If I had these guys already here and fired, it would have been a combined firing and out of dice. But I'm interpreting it as this way two for the infantry and two dice for the DSHK. Alright, we'll go ahead and minus one of those for their defense. These guys are also in a good cover. So I think that's one dice quality. Cultivated, minus one. So it gives me a greener. Gives me a greener. All right. Ooh. What we got going on here? Uh, half of their range. Yeah, it is at half range. One and a half. One. But uh, I think that's going to be it right there. Let me look at the range again. Pause. Okay, again, close range. Half, dropping fractions. The two dice quality stronger. That's pretty good. So now we'll go ahead up here to the old black. Now I'll change that black to red. So the old DSHK. Being next to him isn't a good thing. Alright, now I gotta figure out what they wanna do. They are in cover with a can retreat. Doesn't give them another red die. The counter fire gives them another red die. They stay put, just leaves them to take that. I believe what they wanna do though is. Oh, what do I wanna do if I'm a rebel? I want to do this counter fire. So, he's only counterfiring with uh, three. Well, I guess he could use a rock repel grenade, but uh, that is strange. What are we going to do about that? Let's roll first and see what we got. Alright, three hits for the old uh, RPG, which will go one. Two and three. All right. He dealt out a little sucker hits. He dealt out one, two, three, four. Well, the maximum we can do is three, I guess. Oh, shoot. What do I do about that support unit? Uh, four. Well, let's give it to him, but let's count that as... Uh, oh, I'll be back. All right, I'm going to go with all these. One, two, three, four. So you can give, you can give these guys a maximum of four hits back. So let's go ahead and do some math, though. When it comes to the counter fire, I always need to, okay, minus the attacker's defense value, which would be a, a one. So that's three hits he can do. Minus any action, he was agreed, so that's a two. Minus the attacker from in defensive terrain, which I am, so that's one, so we could do one hit to me. Ooh, 
But you know what? Wait a while. Firing. Lead pen. Okay. We're good. That's the way I'm gonna resolve that combat. Alright. Huh. RPG's on his way out. That little unit there. So then I'm going to follow up with this unit here coming on down. One half, one. He's got a little over two. That was a lot. One half, one. He's got a little over two. We'll go ahead unload these guys here. They got a movement of three, so now they only got a movement of one and a half, which will only use one to go here. Then they will fire on these guys here. That'll be that. Oh, you know what? I think this boy here with a movement of five will uh, move with him. Put him on top to signify that he's not loaded. Okay, they're both going to be moving and firing, but I'm going to use a combined fire. And uh, we will fire with the uh, militia against the RPG. Going with three dice. Minus one. Uh, plus one for the BMP and a combined fire. All right. Oh, he is in defendable terrain. And my guys all moved and fired their full movement points. All right. I think that's it. Uh, RPG can retreat. Can't counter fire, but at a penalty, I'm just taking. Oh, we're going to we're going to press pause and decide. Okay, we are back, and I think it's going to be a three dice uh, attack. I don't think I'm missing anything here. I think the RPG is going to. Oh, hold on. We got a little bit of an audience here. <laughs> I don't see you. I just got the dog. So anyway, all right. Uh, let me press pause. And... All right, welcome back. We are back with some Armageddon War. And uh, um, where, where was I if I was so rudely interrupted? <laughs> It's good. Oh, it's all good. Uh, it's been a while. Done cut grass, did yard work, and everything. Now we're back here to play the game, and I do have uh, regained my senses when it came time for this uh, attack here. Uh, I'm sure people were sitting there watching, thinking, "You dummy! He only has a range of one hex, which he does, which means he cannot fire on this RPG. So the only one that can fire will be the uh, uh, BMP." with a range of three. So uh, start this all over. Um, sorry about that. Nothing like watching and watching your mistakes. Sometimes you just, you know, you just don't realize it. <laughs> so I need an opponent here sometimes to uh, point things out to me. When I'm playing people online, I, I got my buddy when I played him online for War, War and Peace. You know, let's point that stuff out to me. I'm sure it got aggravating for him. But anyway, we're shooting with two dice. All right, he moved, but uh, we gotta take one dice back because that's going on there. It's his defense factor. Oh, what else? He is in cover, so that'll qualify it on down. I'm moving and everything, so it qualifies it on down. So basically, the BMP2 is firing at the RPG with one die. Now the RPG, let me see if what he wants to do. He can retreat, counterfire by making this a black die, and retreating by making this a black die, or just leaving it be. So he's just going to leave it be. He ain't going to mess with anything there. So this is a one die fire from the BMP because 
militia needs somebody right next to them to fire, so can't do that. All that for nothing. We've got our senses back. We're playing the game right now, so I'm glad I caught it. It's when I die, it comes up to nothing. That's what happens with those green die. You don't get nothing with them. Okay, but he does get, they both get a movement marker, so let's go ahead and put him down here first. Signified he's there and that the militia's on top of him. Alright, now for another movement. That pretty well shot my strategy to heck. I wanted to use his uh, three factors. I wanted to have a combined fire, but you can't do that, so that was pretty much for naught. You can see what happens when your attacks aren't coordinated right and get all your firepower. Um, now, I think it's a level of realism and it's an ingenious way to do it instead of looking at all these combat result tables just roll a dice so I think it's a good concept and I'm sure we'll be seeing a lot more of it my almost stopped up at my we were out running around a day and um oh excuse me my mini market that's where I got this one from I was gonna go up there and see if I can get that uh solo variant and play that uh so anyway Let's back to the game. What will he do? What will he do? One, one, two. He can move and fire. Let's go ahead. Well, yeah, he can't. He cannot fire because he has to have somebody right next to him. So we'll go ahead and move him. One half. One. Another one and a half. We'll stop him right there. And he will fire with two dice to start off with. One minus for his uh, defense factor of the rebels. Oh, rebels are in defensive terrain. That makes that a green dice. And uh, moving green dice also. So green dice is about as all we can do. Let's uh, see what they want to do. They don't want to make this any any higher than green, so the RPG and the militia will just sit there and take whatever fire comes, and the fire is nothing. So he is also moved, and uh, nothing's happening. Nothing's happening to that rebel unit. Uh, let me pause it here. Okay, we're back then. Uh, that is it for the uh, Salia ISIS player. Uh, we'll go ahead and draw now again. Oh. So the ISIS player and the Rebel player. Oh, no, the Rebel player hasn't been drawn yet. But So odds are it could be. Uh, well, I guess it's the odds are on the Rebels. If they would have used their shit, that would have made a total Rebel. So there's a chance that the ISIS player can get himself going here. So it's round. I can feel three. We'll take the one on the end. And it is. The rebels, the odds are in their favor. Now, do they want to? Uh, let me see how you do this. So, there's a procedure. Uh, first thing is draw the command shit, then do actions. So, let's do the actions for the rebels. Uh, Rebel RPG will be good to go. This RPG will go from shaken to pinned. He's in defensive cover, so that'll go down to green. Unfortunately, he's within range and everything of his uh, enemy, and there's no logistic marker. So, that's that. The RPG won't be doing nothing this turn. Now, down here with this RPG, he will get an automatic from shaken to just pinned. Still taking some fire. Uh, he's not in defensive terrain, and he's not close to a uh, logistics marker. So then we're, it's the only recovery he's going to have. Um, rebel, rebel, rebel. Uh, okay, hold on, because we don't do that yet. Uh, that's it for the rebels. I believe that is it for the rebels. Um, it will be... Morale recovery, place or move your log my logistics marker. So the rebels are here, here, 
This guy's, well, he's close enough to three, one, one, two, three. So he's close enough to within movement factor. So I will skip the use of the logistics marker. I'll place it here in place of the command shit. I'll put the chip back in the cup. And now it's time to move the rebels. Uh, let me check out what we're going to do here. We'll be back. All right, now, look at the battle board. The only rebel unit that can move is the RPG. He's got a chance to go over here and inflict some more damage on that militia unit. And, but, uh, oh, that's a tough decision. I like going down here better. And my decision is usually the wrong one, so this is probably the wrong decision. But he'll go ahead and, uh, move three hexes one two three and uh, get himself a marker that will be it for the rebel player as all of his units are being our all of his units being uh, involved in actions nothing else can happen so it's a it's a chit draw all important shit draw too and odds are that it's going to be a rebel yeah because the isis players got his chin on the board so probably a rebel Let's see if we can't beat the odds here it's the isis player okay this one has to go on the board and this is uh, activation number 14 to only 10 left Okay, ISIS player coming around, recovering from uh, the last action. That's good. We'll see what happens as a result. Oh, going down to green. He is in defendable terrain. So I guess he'll be fully recover. Uh, um, all these guys are covered too. Yo, this could be bad. As they say, this could be game. <laughs> we'll see. All right. That's it. The rest are my rebels. Oh, uh, rebels are making a mad dash. Those guys are doing the old sprint. Try to get some shots off at the dignitary's convoy. One of his convoys has been hit. That's another thing I wanted to check with the rules. I don't know if I have to reveal him when he's hit or when he's destroyed. Let me check that out and we'll be right back. Okay. If the limousine is destroyed, its contents are revealed. Otherwise, it remains hidden. So, not until he's destroyed. Uh, we're going to look and see what the ISIS player wishes to do. And uh, we'll be back. And what I'm seeing here is ain't gonna take much to get some hits on him, two or three, and he'll be about he'll be useless. So I think these guys might be able to take care of that. And uh, one of these RPGs has got to go. Maybe we can go ahead and coordinate fire between these guys against him, and the DSHK against him. So give all three of these guys something to think about. We will be back. All right, now I thought about a close combat with this infantry, but I don't like the odds. I got one, two, three, four, five. He's got four, five, six, so that's not going to sound too good. <laughs> no close combat yet, people. Sorry about that. You have to do that you know, in your own scenario, but we'll see. Maybe we'll, get, maybe we'll do one a little bit later. For now, um, how do I want to do this? I am going to move both of these units. Well, maybe I don't want to move them. I'll just move one. All right, before I move anybody, I'm going to do a sh I'm going to shoot. Let's see here. Do I want to do it that way? I am going to move both units here. I am going to attack with this full strength 
ISIS militia with three dice. All right, well, here's what I can do with that. I'm going to combine the fire of the BMP, which is another dice, all right? And I'm gonna flank fire with these other two. They're both gonna fire in there too. So I think that flank fire is per firing hex. So I might get it up to six, uh, six dice. Let's hold on here, I'll be right back with the rules. Oops, sorry about that, hit the button twice. All right, uh, if combined fire enters a target from two different hex sides, you are laying some of that fire into a less protected arc for the defender, and this is worth an extra one die. Uh, one plus DN. The hex by spying is not different than the hex side bonus. What? The hex side spine is not different than the hex side it touches. Air attacks are always different than a hex. Blah, blah, blah. All right. So it says only one die modifier. So let's start this again. Three for him, one for combined, and one for flanking fire all right as when it comes to combined fire all the units combining fire are in the same or closer range band as the lead unit and close number of units without closer extended range count as all ranges line of sight for all units we got that combined fire increases the firepower of the attack by one die so we got that oh for each extra unit involved. Okay, so it ate the flanking fire, it's a combined fire. Whoa, we got uh, one, two, three. One die, for, oh, one die for each extra unit involved and up to a maximum of plus three. So let's start this over. Three for uh, the militia, one for flanking, and three more. So let's just give them the max. We got maximum dice. Uh, he's going to minus one here. Uh, the guy that actually is firing moved. So we will down this two. Uh, and what else? He's in cover, so we'll down at another one. But I believe that's it. Uh, a big attack now. What does the RPG want to do? He's a, well, he's he's hit. Does he want to retreat or counter fire? Boy, that could be some good counter fire going on there. I believe he will counter fire. Checks out here. This is what we got. So we're gonna roll a big battle here. Everybody ganging up on the RPG. I believe I did it right. Let's go ahead and uh, roll. Oh, well, that's all we got. I got one, two, three, four hits on him, and he's got one, two, three hits on me. So, four hits on him, I think takes him out. One, two, he can only take one more, three, four, so that knocks the Rebel out. Rebel is gone with his RPG. Look at that stack. All right, eight minutes. I got a couple more. Uh, one, two, three for me. Hold on. His maximum, his firepower was two. And all that other goodness stuff. Oh, let me see here. Back, 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 back. Counter fire, counter fire. We do this every time. Oh, I think we know it by now, but we know. Okay. Attacker's defense. He was down one or so, so that pretty well. Like that pretty well gets it done or nothing. The attacker's in defensive terrain. Uh, he wasn't in defensive terrain. So um, let's put him back here. Let's find out what, where the heck he was when he's doing. Oh, what did I do with him? That rebel unit. All right, I'm only out of pause. Okay, he was a two. Uh, maximum they can do minus one. Where the attacker's defense value is one. Any action, he had at least one action set so zero, so he can't do any uh, counter fire. He's gone, so there we are. Go ahead and put the old uh, markers on him. Markers on. Let me make sure I get these guys right. 
Yeah, they're both low. He's hurt. Oh, got 30 seconds, and this thing's going to shut down on me. Okay, that's what it looks like. We got rid of them. Down to two RPG units. We will be back. All right, we are back. And uh, it's looking good, pendulum swinging. Uh, just uh, eliminated all that, all that concentrated fire. That was a lot of fire for somebody in some uh, scrub. And that was all it took. That rebel didn't stand a chance. So uh, this goes to show you what can happen on some of those tactics. All right. Next is what we're going to do with this little unit down here. Okay. I think I'm going to do a intensive fire. And then we'll just sit there and fire. And I'm going to do a combined fire because both of them are going to fire. So here we go with three dice for the BMP and the only, this BMP must be an anti-infantry because he's got a three and orange just like uh, his shield so each strike is per hit so we'll start off with three plus one for the combined fire minus one for the shield uh, then what are we doing here no defensive as a matter of fact this terrain is so bad in that road Road infantry def offensive dice quality plus one. So it's so bad in that road. You don't get defensive terrain bonus. He gets a defensive terrain uh, hit. All right. Now what are we doing? Intensive fire. Put out. I'll put both of those guys to shaking. But I'm gonna shoot the heck out of that sob. So let's see what's going on here. Oh, intensive fire. Two dice qualifiers more. Get these blue suckers out here for my convoy. All right, four hex range, and he's got a three hex range because he's hit, but he can still reach him. All right, what does the RPG want to do? Uh, does he got anything to counter fire? What's he got? Three. Minus two. Yeah, I'm just, I can't go any, I can't help myself out anymore, so. Leave it like that. That's gonna be it. Blowing away me an RPG. I got one, two, three, four hits on him. So that will take him from that to. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh, we're going to punch out some new uh, things here. Hold on. Okay. Exchange it with this one. All right, that takes him from just one hit. He's got one, two, three, four. One hit here. Another hit takes him like this. So one, two, three, four. It's more than enough. He's gone. Gone with the RPG. Four hits. All right. Yeah, this is, looks like it might be a might be a ISIS uh, decisive victory. All right, only one ISIS unit left. Oh, yeah, the RPG or one rebel unit left. The RPG and uh, these guys are all shaken. They intensified and blew them away. That's what they needed to do. But I think that's gonna be game, people. We're going to stick it out here to the end, but I don't see what else is, can be left. All right, no more ISIS player moves. Uh, I still got to get him through, so let's just see what goes on here. Picking it up. Somebody on this battlefield's feeling awfully lonely. <laughs> Ain't looking good. Any other time, is this is a, uh, what do you call it, Warhammer game, his flag would be turning white, flashing. He's getting ready to get out of there. Okay, it's the rebels shit. So they are back in it. And uh, he'll lose his little marker here. Alright. And he will. He's got three movement. One, two, three. One, two. That's all he can do. 
Just try to just try to take a shot and get him. Uh, how can he go? He can go this way. Well, nope, nobody can outfire because they all got steps taken. They're all busy. They just got done kicking somebody's butt while they do that. He's going to make a little move here. One, two. One, two. And one more on the road would be... Well, let's go. One, two, three. All right. Let's do it. He's all he can do is take a shot. Which one do I want to hit? Well, this one here has already been uh, reduced. So we're going to shoot at the guy that's been reduced and hope for the best. <laughs> this will be good. This is a good ending. All right. Well, he's there. He's going to start off with four of those bad boys because all those RPGs love that uh, BMP. So he's going to shoot at this guy here. We'll do the modifiers. Minus one. Uh, what else? He's not in good cover. He's in a road. So I might get that one back. Road for a tracked vehicle is a plus one. All right, let's go back over here. I'll show you that there. See the road. Road would be the top one. Tracked vehicle plus one of my dice quality. Not good for the VMP. All right, now what are we doing? Uh, I took my full movement points, so that could hurt there too. Uh, infantry, moving fire, three dice quality less, so one, two, three. I think that's what we got here, folks. Unless this guy chooses to do something stupid. We'll see what he wants to do. Oh, counter fire. No, I don't really want to do that. I could care less. I just want to survive this. So I don't want to increase this another black die. Retreat. Eh. Huh. Well, once he fires, it's all about him. I mean, he's got to fire, and then that's going to be it because my guys are going to be on him. So I'm not going to do anything. This could be game because he can only survive. He can't survive any hits. He's on the edge. <coughs> One hit destroys him. <laughs> so this old uh, rebel militia, the last one on the board. If it's the guy. If it's the guy. Two hits. Hold on. Is that right? Yeah, two hits. Flips him over. Two hits. That ain't bad. Am I missing something here? Okay, four goes on. Yeah, two hits is two hits. That destroys him. Okay, here's the guy that represents right here. What's the game going to say? Is it going to be over? Is it going to keep on going? It is. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> is that an official or a D? Okay, well, we can flip the other one over. I don't know what it means. <laughs> I don't know if this is O for an official. Well, what's this one say? A D? It's a dummy. Okay. So that was the official. <laughs> that was the dignitary. The dignitary is dead. The rebels win the game. Wow. That is killer. Well, hold on. Wait. No, yeah. D's for dummy. O is for official. Yeah, that's right. Because I was going to say, this could be dignitary, but the O would would mess up. The O is for the official, and the D's for the dummy. All right, yeah, there you go. That's game, people. Uh, Rebels come from behind. Old boys booked his ass down about 200 yards. Fired one shot. Got him. Got him. Uh, victory for the Rebels. Let's go ahead and look back here, though, real quick. I mean, I guess it says the game ends when he either escapes or gets shot. But uh, scenario four... The rebel player gets four victory points for living. Oh, hold on. Eliminating the official. Okay, well, hold on. This might not be over. And one victory points for each ISIL unit eliminated, which means five for living official since this requires blowing up the BMP2 as he is in. Oh, okay. So he gets a destroyed, too. So let me get this, uh, this one over here for the. Okay. 
ISO player gets six victory points. Oh wait, hold on. Alright, ISO player gets six victory points for exiting the official. He won't get that via hex X1 and one victory point for each rebel unit eliminated. So let's try to do some math here. I thought he had it one. Alright, we're back. Sorry about that. We ran out of ran out of uh ran out of tape. <laughs> but anyway, here's what's going on. Alright. I had to replace one of those units from the one that was on the board. So he got four for the eliminating official, one for the BMP, and then he had these two. But another one eliminated is the one I replaced. So was, there'd be another unit that'd give him eight points to seven. So I think the rebels, the rebels win. Yeah, the rebels win by one point. So it's a rebel victory for eight victory points versus the uh, ISIS players. So uh, yeah, that's it. The rebel player does win just by the skin of his teeth. I almost forgot about that unit that I used over here as a dummy. So yeah, that one extra extra unit. All right, well, that's the way it ends. That was a great game. This is great. I love that. One of these, we're going to go to a convention or we're going to go somewhere and we're going to play somebody. But uh, I will continue. I am going on to uh, Playing With Fire, the next scenario. I uh, hope you guys got a good look at it. It was a great game, and uh, I enjoyed bringing it to you. Uh, comment and like. Subscribe. See you guys later. Bye.